Question 18. Expand and simplify three pairs of brackets that you see. Now, it doesn't matter which of these brackets you break out first, but the vast majority of people will start by expanding this pair of double brackets here, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if I multiply x by 2x, I get 2x squared. x by 3, I get a 3x. A 2 by 2x, I'm going to get a 4x. And a 2 times 3 will give me a 6. And tidy that up. I will get 2x squared plus 7x plus 6 as the answer to that yellow section. I then have to multiply that bracket or expand it with the other one, x minus 7. So being careful as you multiply all of these, the two terms I'm multiplying together there will give us a 2x cubed minus a 14x squared. The two green terms I'm multiplying here will give us a plus 7x squared minus 49x. And then lastly, we've got a 6x take away 42. We're not done yet though, because now we need to simplify, even if the question didn't say it. It would be implied that whenever you can collect like terms, like these two, or these two, then you would. So that will give us a 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 43x minus 42 as our answer for that. Part B. Make M the subject of the following formula. First thing we notice is that we have two different types of M and we have one of our M's being on the bottom of a fraction, which we most certainly do not want. So first thing we're going to do is multiply both sides by 2m minus y to give us the following. I then want to get all of the m's on the same side, but before I can do that, I need to free this m from the bracket that we have there. So I'm going to expand that to give me a 2. It doesn't matter if this is not in alphabetical order, but I'm just going to write it in alphabetical order. 2mp squared minus p squared y on the right, and x plus m on the left. Our next problem is still to get all of the m's on the same side. Everything that's not got an m in it, we want on the other side. So I'm going to take away m from both sides so that all of the m's are on the left. And then I'm going to add this p squared y to both sides so that everything that doesn't have an m is on the right. It wouldn't matter if you did this the other way around and made that disappear and that disappear, but just be aware that um, if your answer, top and bottom of the fraction, are the exact opposite, all the pluses or minuses, top and bottom, then you've just done this the other way than what's shown in the mark scheme. So writing this out, 2mp squared take away m is what the left-hand side has now, and x plus p squared y is what the right-hand side has. These two terms here cannot mix because we cannot combine 2p squared with the number 1. So when they cannot mix, we take m out as a common factor and we leave the stuff that doesn't mix in a bracket. So 2p squared take away 1 being what's in the bracket. And then in order to get m on its own, we divide both sides by that bracket, giving us a p, sorry, an x plus p squared y all over 2p squared minus 1. And coming back to what I said before, if you happen to have an answer that looks like this, you're perfectly correct. It's just you chose to get all of the m's on the right-hand side. And so your answer here will look the exact opposite of that in terms of pluses and minuses. Done.